Hey guys, Kirp here. Um, I was just looking through my recent applications and then I decided to do a tutorial on Scratch. So, what is Scratch? Well, it's a basic programming language designed for kids and sort of educational, I guess, but it is great for making these basic programming projects in. So, let me start off by explaining the interface. So on the right hand, over here, right hand side over here, you have two sections right here. This is the project viewer over here, so it will show you all your sprites, your images, your backgrounds, all that stuff over here. You got some quick tools up here, so you can shrink it with this and all that stuff. And down here, you got your sprite selector, and you can also select your stage, which brings us into the middle, which is our editor over here. So you're editing whatever you're selecting, and you got your scripts, which is like behaviors, costumes, and your sounds, as well as different rotational things, which I might get into a little bit later. So you can also rename it, add new sprites, and these cool stuff like that. Now, there is on the left-hand side, you have the script selector. So this is divided into categories like motion, look, sound, and pen as well as control sensing operators and variables. Now, these are actually quite simple to use and I'll get into them in a second. So, before I get started showing you guys it, I'll tell you why, why, why is this really cool? Well, Scratch is not only a programming language, it's also an online community. So you can base, you can, you can share it to their website over here. And I have their website open in Chrome. And they have tons and tons and tons of games over here. So I'll show you some of my stuff that I have. Not much, but there is, I mean, I can show you this. It's just a one quick project. And they're coming out, by the way, with Scratch 2.0, which is going to be fully web-based and stuff. So apparently this isn't loading, but no fear. I have it on here and I don't really need to show it to you guys. Okay, so first of all, let me start off with some of the basics over here. These things cannot be called on unless you have a control block. Simple. So I can't just go over here and start my project and nothing will happen. It won't move 10 steps. Now you can click on it and it will execute that one block. That's good for testing things out like this, seeing what it actually does. So let's start off with the when the flag is clicked, and then we're going to go in, over into motion, and then we're going to type move 10 steps. And now every time we start our project, it will move him 10 steps. Um, so let's say we want to make this guy not stop moving 10 steps. After we do this, we're going to go and add a forever. So it'll keep on repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. And then we're also going to add a motion turn um, clockwise effect, and we're going to maybe make it like three or something and make this three so he moves a little bit slower and as you guys can see right here he's doing that so you can change into the smaller view larger and then presentation mode over here so that's basically a basic scratch project um, we can add tons of different things we can add there's different costumes so you can have different things they have a nice nice sorry about that scrolling um, nice image editor over here. This is actually it's one of the best image editors that um, that I've seen come with an application. It's very basic over here, and you can do a lot with it. And then you have sound. You don't have a sound editor, whatever. Um, and you got layering and all that, all these advanced object-based programming language stuff. Stuff. Um. I don't know what should I I should probably show you guys something. Probably. Let me see. No, don't save that. Well let's go into maybe a basic thing. Let's just look at um I don't know. Scoop Pong. So as you can see they have two sprites right here, one for each of these and then the background. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with a lot of stuff that you can do with Scratch, and I hope to make more tutorials on this in the future. Thanks guys, please subscribe, I would appreciate that, 
and if you like my new headset, if you don't like my new headset, or if you like my new headset and you don't like my new headset, then leave a comment and subscribe. Peace.